Hi, folks. Autry Moreland at Autry Moreland Superstars in Saxon and Dexter, Missouri. Let Jeff Williams rope a deal for you. If you've been looking for America's hottest selling SUV, the Chevrolet Equinox or the GMC Terrain with a 32 miles per gallon highway, we got them. Two huge locations to serve you. That's Morgan Chevrolet, Cadillac, and Dexter, and Autry Moreland Incorporated in Sykeston, Missouri. More than stand on the back of your car, truck, or horse, you pay too much. Hello, and welcome back once again to the Statesman News Network. We've been officially broadcasting for two weeks now, and I'd like to thank everyone for tuning in. Like I said, in the, this is the beginning. It's still a learning experience for all of us, so thank you for your patience and your advice. In local news, today we have several things going on. Today's lead story is a feature about an Idalia man who raises and works with mules. Marvin Webster has worked with mules for years and years, and he uses them for a variety of everyday things. He plows, rakes hay, hunts, and even travels by mules. You'll need to check out the print edition for his full story because it comes with a lot of neat pictures and stuff. Dexter High School held their annual honors banquet Tuesday night at the high school. The top 10% academically of each high school class were honored. Photos of these students also appear in today's paper. Beginning January 1st, doctors and hospitals can expect health insurers to pay bills more promptly, a law that could help St. Francis Medical Center collect $42 million in old claims. Governor Jay Nixon visited Fitness Plus on the St. Francis campus Tuesday to sign the bill passed earlier this month by the Missouri legislature. The measure imposes new penalties on insurance companies that do not pay claims within 45 days, and it also will end the practice of insurance companies suspending payment on claims for months or, in some cases, even years. In local sports, it was a good day for Bernie. Bernie's baseball team took on Leopold and won 11 to nothing. Bernie softball also took on Leopold, winning 16 to 4. Seedings were released yesterday for the SEMO Conference baseball tournament that begins later this week. Dexter is seeded third and will take on number six seeded Sykeston in Dexter on Friday for the first round. For the second night in a row, the Cardinals pulled off a come from behind victory against the Atlanta Braves, taking game two of the four game series with a final score of 5 to 4. This takes the team's record to 13 and 7 and gives them a three and a half game lead in the National League Central Division. The Cardinals will play tonight at 7 10 behind this year's impressive rookie starter, Jamie Garcia. Today will be sunny with a high around 71 degrees. Weather should remain clear through tomorrow before the rain moves in for the weekend. The National Weather Service issued a statement Tuesday saying that the weekend rainfall will average around 1 to 3 inches and localized amounts of 3 to 5 inches are even possible. So plan accordingly. <laughs> I'd like to thank everyone for joining us once again for the Statesman Newscast. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or submissions for our reader question segment, email me, Corey, at cnoles at dailystatesman.com or give me a call at 624-4545. Don't forget to pick up a copy of today's print edition for stories you've read about and more. And on that note, we'll see you back here tomorrow.